LSPI can kill your engine. What is it? How can you prevent it? I'm Lake Speed Jr., a certified lubrication specialist, and there are three things you can do to help prevent low speed pre-ignition from destroying a direct injection engine. Here we go. The first one is use the proper motor oil. You want to use an API SP or direct injection specific formula motor oil. All you got to do is look at the back of the label. There should be a little donut on there. Inside that donut, if it says API SP, it means that oil has been formulated specifically for direct injection engines and it's passed a low speed pre ignition test. So, low speed pre-ignition is a type of detonation that can destroy your engine. It'll burn a hole straight through a piston, destroying your engine. So you want to prevent low speed pre-ignition from ever occurring in your engine. And the best way to do it is by using an engine oil already formulated specifically for LSPI prevention and has passed an LSPI prevention test. So any motor oil with that API SP in the little donut has already passed that test and been formulated to prevent low speed pre-ignition. Now the second thing you can do is use a fuel additive designed for direct injection engines. Now the key is you want to use an additive that contains polyetheramine. That's a type of detergent chemistry in fuel additives that can clean not only the injectors, but also combustion chamber deposits. In order to prevent detonation, you know, low speed pre-ignition is a type of detonation. So you want to have the combustion chamber as clean as possible. You want those injectors clean as possible so it can atomize the fuel. It's the atomization of the fuel is so key in preventing low speed pre-ignition. Because if those droplets can't vaporize, now you're going to mix more fuel into the oil. And it's that mixture of fuel and oil that leads to low speed pre-ignition. Now the third one is actually the easiest one to do. Just let the engine warm up before your right foot gets heavy on the throttle. <laughs> now, bear with me for a second. All oils get thinner as they get hotter. Conversely, they get thicker as they get colder. I'm not talking about changing viscosity grades. I'm just saying, hey, maple syrup in your refrigerator is a whole lot thicker than when you pour it on your pancakes and it gets hot and it thins out. Motor oil is the same way. So your piston rings, as a piston ring guy, I can tell you this is a fact. Your piston rings, the tension doesn't change with temperature. So when your engine's cold, your oil is thick. And those piston rings only have so much tension to scrape that oil away because you don't want oil mixing with the fuel like we talked about. So you want to have that piston ring doing the best job it can scraping that oil away. That oil is thicker when it's colder, so it's harder for the piston rings to do their job. Now, once the engine's warmed up and the oil's gotten thinner, it's easier for the piston rings to do their job. Low speed pre-ignition happens more often at low engine temperatures than it does high engine temperatures. Why? Because the oil is thicker and it's harder for the piston rings to scrape that oil away. So if you just let your engine warm up a little bit before you get heavy on the throttle, that's the easiest way to prevent low speed pre-ignition and keep your engine from blowing up. And that's the whole goal. So what if your engine's already failed due to low speed pre-ignition? Now what can you do? Well, the number one thing you need to do is use a higher tension oil ring. Now here at Total Seal, we can help you with that. We have higher tension oil rings available to help scrape that oil so that at low engine temperatures and things like that, you're getting better oil control to prevent that mixing of oil in the fuel. But you also want to follow steps one and two as well, because if you've got higher tension oil rings that can scrape that oil off better and your injectors are clean and you're using the correct chemistry oil, 
you can stack the deck in your favor to prevent low speed pre-ignition from ever happening again to your engine. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.